Welcome to the AutoVerify Research Dashboard. This video will take you through a quick tour so you know where to find everything within the dashboard portal. This first page here is your overview page. It's a great snapshot of your total number of leads from last month, current month, year to date. It also provides a breakdown by lead type as seen in the graph here. The leads by device type is simply showcasing how many customers engage with the tool based on their cell phone or from their desktop. Scrolling down, since I'm on year to date, it'll be a breakdown of leads by month. If I were to search from breakdown from last month, it'll break it down to what day the leads were left on. You can then filter to search for just credit leads, trade in leads, etc. should you want to. The leads tab here on your left is probably the most important tab within the dashboard. Every single lead and all the information attached to that lead will be found in this portal. You can search by just lead types. You can search by a date range as well. So if I'm curious of my credit leads from February 1st to 28th, I can apply that filter. If I'd like to generate a report, I just have to hit export to CSV and that will pull all the information seen here into an Excel sheet. You can even search by name or phone number in the dashboard here as well. This first lead here, Kelsey Newham, you will see that there's a trade and a credit type here. This is what we call a super lead. The customer engaged with the trade-in tool and then moved into the credit flow. If I click on their name, I'll be able to pull up their entire profile. You'll see all their basic contact information. You will also see this lead origin URL. The lead origin URL is simply the page the customer is on when they engage with the tool. If they happen to be on a vehicle description page or a vehicle detail page, the vehicle of interest field will populate here and it will just pull in the information from your website as to the vehicle they were interested in possibly buying. Now, any of the extra credit information that comes free with our Credit Plus add-on will be found in this credit drop-down here. Now, on our end, I won't be able to see anything, but from your dealership end, this is what will be seen within your dashboard. You will be given the customer's credit score, as well as their credit limit utilization, any past inquiries over the last 30, 60, 90 days, any open trade lines, as well as any overdue payments that are applicable to the person. Lastly, the trade information is also found here. You will see the vehicle information of their personal unit they're interested in trading in, as well as the information we provided in the trade in tool. If you would like to add any users to the dashboard, you just have to use the users tab here and simply enter the information by using the add user tab. The system will send them a email and letting them know an account has been created and they will be able to set up a password. Review requests can be found here. This is where you would upload a file in order to send out review requests. Please check out the video on sending review requests if you're interested in more information on that. Product settings is where you will find your customer success team, or if you have a dedicated account manager, you will find their information in that section as the dashboard as well. You may have tools that you're not currently using in our product suite that you can find here, as well as any of the product settings for our spotlight tool. You can manage those settings within the product settings here. The profile is just simply your name if you ever need to change your name or your language preference. And lastly, the help and support is an easy way to create a support ticket directly with our support team. If you have any questions about the AutoVerify dashboard, please reach out to training at autoverify.com.